Disney friends. It's me, Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm today. I'm going to show you guys some of my pin haul I've been getting from different sites. I have um, some from Loungefly. Got some from eBay, <laughs> and I got some from um, Crack and Trade. So this is going to be really good. <laughs> um, but also, I, it was really weird because today um, I was going through some of my bins and I happened to come across um, some of my old name tags from when, <laughs> from when I worked down at Disney. So I'm going to show you. See this right here? It says Sarah backwards. <laughs> but it says Little Mermaid because um, at the time we actually had to pick which character we wanted um, on our name tags. And this was the... Uh, 100 years of magic um but yeah i got this one and then i also have this one here that says sarah on it um but this one on top is different this is where magic lives um and again it has um new hampshire on it because that's where i'm from um but the, really this made me laugh but um this one right here <laughs> says angel <laughs> um, it says 100 years of, um, 100 years of magic, but it says Disney MGM studios. Cause it was MGM studios. <laughs> um, but it says angel because I had lost my name tag. And when you work at Disney, you have to wear a name tag. So what they did is they handed me a bin and I had to pick a name to go by for that whole week. I was angel. And um, I had to answer to all the guests as Angel. <laughs> I had a lot of people be like, oh, Angel, um, Angel. And sometimes I would um, be like, what, what? And then realize that they were talking to me because it was on a name tag. So sometimes if you are in the parks and you're talking and you, and you see a cast member and you see their name and they're not answering you right away, it might not be their name. Because <laughs> I actually had to wait because they had to order me another one. But um, I kept my name tags. Um, I have all three, um, but um, so I wanted to share that with you guys because <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, but anyway, so I we're gonna dive right in today with these um, really cool bags. So stay tuned. All right. Well, hello and welcome back. So the first two pins I got were from Crack and Trade. Um, we have Rapunzel which is a limited edition of 300. She, the one that I chose was the one with the green Pascal. Um, and this was available for May, but um, it took until the end of June before I had received the pin. And then this one over here is Ariel. She's also a limited edition of 300. Um, I had bought end of May, but again, had to wait until in June to get it, but hey, it was well worth it. These, you could either get it in gold or silver, and I chose gold. So here's an up close look at it. I've got it. <laughs> so cool. She's if you look at it, she's looking through a bubble, right at you. <laughs> she's um, got some glitter. Um, it's very well done. Uh, it's pretty. Pretty big size, two and a half, three inch pin. And then see says right here, limited edition of three hundred, and it's gold, just like I ordered. <laughs> and then oh, this one's really pretty too. This one, it's got Rapunzel. There's a green pastel, and she's painting. Um, you could get this in the red, but I chose green. And it's, uh, again, it shows in the back, a series of 300. So these were the two that I had gotten from Crack and Trade, and I just love them and to add them to my collection. And now I'll just show you some more, because I've got more to open. <laughs> All right, we're back. This now are the ones I've gotten from eBay. Um, I have some eBay friends that I usually like to order from, so... This one, I remember going back down to Disney and I kind of wish I would have gotten it back then. So I saw it on eBay and I was like, oh, this would be really cool to get. 
Um, I really like it because of the gate. <laughs> I love, I like pins that open and close. I don't know about you, but I like things open, close, move. So I really, I saw this and I just thought this was a cool pin and I really kind of wish I had gotten it then. So I picked it up and I think this one is was a 2012 pin. So yeah, I was glad I picked it up on eBay. And then I love Baymax. <laughs> So I didn't get this one last time when it was out in the series. I think it was the do it hugs, um, characters hugging. And well, I don't know about you, but when I'm feeling low, I wish I had my own Baymax to cheer me up. So I love this one. Um, it makes me smile. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it makes me smile. So, yep, this is my Baymax. <laughs> And then I really, really want this pen so bad, and I'm so glad I got it. Um, this is Marie um, flying on her broom with her little hat. Um, it was a series of 300 from Hollywood Studios, and I was able to pick it up, and I was really excited because it was a pretty good deal on eBay. So, yay! <laughs> So there you have it. These are my eBay grabs. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, next, I have uh, Loungefly. All right. All right. Welcome back. And we are now going to be looking at Loungefly pins that I have gotten. This is a series of 600. And if you look, this was my favorite show to come home to after school when I was a kid. These are the gummy bears. They'd be hopping all over the place. I was so excited when I saw these pin. Oh, I, I cannot, like, I, I just, I loved watching this when I was a kid. When I come home, it was always, like, at 3.30, so I had to, like, run home to get there to, like, watch it. But if you look right on, like, there, it says 600, limited edition on that crown. It is, look at this, this is a huge pin. Like, like, I'm holding this. This is a big pin. This is big. This is huge. And it's, it's, it's really well made. I was kind of hoping it would like spin because that'd be really cool. But, um, I just think it's really neat just the way it is. So, um, yeah, I got all the little characters in there and they would just bounce around. Like, I don't know if anybody else watched this <laughs> gummy bears, but they, and sometimes they would drink potions that would make them jump even higher. Um, but I loved, I loved coming home to watching Disney afternoon after school. So it was one of my favorite shows. And then I got this one because, you know, you got to have Gus. <laughs> this is also a series of 600. And it's a pretty, again, this is a pretty good size pin. It's a little smaller than the other one, but I still think it's really cool because this one opens. If I can get to open. Uh, and look, there's Cinderella with her evil stepmother. That is so cool. I'll close it back nicely. Boop. But yeah, I just think it's cool to have a little key. And again, in the back, it says a series of 600 limited edition. So these were the ones that I had picked up from Loungefly. And all the other ones here, I'll just show you them again. Do, do. I just love, I got more pins coming in that I'll have to show you guys again. Um, but until then, thank you for tuning in and checking out my pins that I was able to collect. And I hope I see you guys again real soon. Right, Mary? <laughs> She's already fast asleep. What about you, Tinkerbell? <laughs> All right. Well, see you guys soon. Bye.